flag privilege consists of five personnel, the NCOIC, two flag handlers, and two halyard pullers, which will form up at double arms interval. The NCOIC will call the privilege to attention and give the command ready face, forward march, to bring the privilege down to the flagpole. Once the privilege is at place by the flagpole, the NCOIC will then give the command privilege halt followed by a ready face, at which point all personnel will face each other. The NCOIC will then pass the flag from himself to the primary flag handler as the halyard pullers unsecure the halyard. Next, the NCOIC will give the command to unfold the flag, at which point the flag handlers will unfold the flag lengthwise, handing it down to the halyard pullers. The NCOIC will then command to attach the flag, at which point the halyard pullers will attach the flag and raise it approximately shoulder height. At the first note of Rivoli, the halyard pullers will begin raising the flag briskly. As soon as the flag is out of the flag handler's hands, they will automatically face the flagpole and render a salute. The NCOIC salutes. The halyard pillars will secure the halyard, and at the last note of Reveille, the NCOIC will give the command, Order Arms. Once the halyard has been secured, the NCOIC will march through the privilege and inspect to ensure that the halyard is secure. Then execute an about face and give the command, Ready Face, Forward March. The NCOIC will then halt the privilege, give the command ready face, and dismissed. In the evening, the NCOIC will bring out the privilege to the flagpole as in the morning, but on the command post, only the halyard pullers will face the flagpole. After facing the flagpole, the halyard pullers will unsecure the halyard and then re-secure. Next, the NCOIC will give the command parade rest. At the last note of retreat, the NCOIC will call the privilege to attention and give the command present arms, while the halyard pullers begin to lower the flag. Once the flag has lowered to within view of the flag handlers, they will automatically cut their salutes returning back to the position of intention and then move to secure the flag. Next, the NCOIC will use a series of commands to move the flag privilege away from the flagpole to begin preparing to fold the flag.
Ya. Once the flag has been completely folded, the primary flag handler will have a hand on top and on the bottom of the flag. All other personnel's hands will be on the top of the flag. The flag will then be passed from the primary flag handler back to the NCOIC, who will march through the formation, execute an about face, and give the commands, ready face, forward march, to bring the privilege back to the academy area. If the flag is to be flown at half-staff, the NCOIC will march the privilege to the flagpole to begin preparing to raise the flag. At the first note of Reveille, the halyard pullers will raise the flag to full staff and then lower to half-staff. To lower the flag from half staff, the halyard pullers will first raise the flag to full staff at the first note of to the color, and then lower the flag. The flag handlers and NCOIC will follow the same customs and courtesies used when the flag is flown at full staff. The only exception is on Memorial Day. On Memorial Day, the flag will be displayed at half staff from morning to noon. At noon, the flag will be hoisted to full staff and remain there until retreat. 